an amazing thing about this river that we get three different distinct species of tiger fish in the same river. The tiger fish generally can be anywhere there. They'll come out of, out of water that you would swear, you know, it was only for brown shark. Very impressive shark teeth to look at. You know, they're not eating something whole like a perch or a dorado or something. They're taking a piece of a bigger fish. And that's why they hit so hard with power, because they just on a big fish, like a 20 pound. Someone who works very closely with the company was on a quest for a Nile perch fishery or an intact Nile perch fishery. And um, after many dead ends, got in touch with the owner of this concession, you know, to say like, hey, there's a river in your area. Are there any Nile perch? We knew the perch were here, but we couldn't catch them. After that, we, we tried fishing at night, and, you know, quite quickly discovered that that's the solution is that these perch feed from very small windows at night. So what you as an angler have to do, map out the area in your mind. Most of the time you're not fishing with any lights on at all, so you've got to make sure that, that you maintain that darkness. For a lot of people who come here for the first time, it's otherworldly, it's bizarre. Yeah, the fight is extraordinary, it's something different. It's, it's a really good challenge from an angling perspective and um, it's often very, very testing. So it's a special quarry to go for. And yeah, I mean, it's, it's a full, full, very cool African fish to target. That's, yeah, that's very special. Um, you know, things are changing so fast in Africa to find somewhere like as intact as this, almost by accident, is just that's, you know, the most incredible part of the whole thing.